Hi and welcome back to another video from Effective Dashboards. In this video we're going to be looking at how you can add a button to your dashboard that allows you to clear all the filters that have been applied. Okay, so sometimes you have got a dashboard like this one here. And if you're interested in understanding how to build this dashboard, look at the link below and you can sign up to the free course that allows you to build this. It talks you through it. But if you want to apply some filters, so I've got a slicer here and I'm going to slice on production critical work. So that's a type of work. And we're only interested in perhaps the priority one work and we want to slice it by mechanical. Okay, so if we want to start removing these filters, then because we've got a combination of filters that have been applied through selecting a visual and also filters that have been applied on a, a slicer, and you could even potentially have filters that are applied through a, a, a a filter plane so work type is not displayed on here so you can have a filter here in the filter plane and we might only be interested in breakdown work so we've applied a lot of filters here now you can actually hover above any of these visuals and you can see which filters have been applied which is really handy so we can see here that this has got the um, work priority of one we've got the work criticality equals um, production and we've got the work type equals br but if you want to start removing these you can click on the actual filter on the visualization and that clears all of the filters that are on the visualizations but you've got to then go and click on this filter here to remove it now if you click on this one here and you click on safety then that applies a safety filter okay so that doesn't happen to be any safety critical work here so yeah, the, the, then the, the filter that's side here, you've got to go in and you've got to unselect this one or, or use this filter, filter clear button here. So it's not a particularly great user experience when it comes to just looking to clear all the filters that you've applied. So I'm going to show you how you can sort that. So the first thing we're going to do is let's get, um, let's minimize this and let's go and open up our bookmark pane because we're going to use bookmarks. So we're going to go to view and we're going to go to bookmarks and we're going to go to uh, add a new bookmark here now there's already one here because we've got a bookmark that's used for this button here um, now there is additional functionality that you can actually use rather than bookmarks for this which I may, I may quickly add in uh, at the end of this video but for just now we're going to add a new bookmark and I'm going to call this bookmark double click on here and I'm going to call this bookmark clear home filters something like that and then I'm going to click on these three buttons here and you can see that there's a number of different options here you can rename you can delete you can group filters together you've got this option here which is data now that data when it's checked that's the one that we're really interested in because that data will capture the status of the the slicers and the filters and um, yeah it captures a few other things as well but the slicers and the filters it also captures the hierarchy level but we're not using that in this this dashboard here the display captures basically if something's visible or if it's in focus or it's got a spotlight it's not so relevant when you're using power bi desktop but really is relevant when you use the power bi service current is for current page there is an alternative to this now um, we did use that for this one here this this um, all backlog bookmark that we've got here um, and then all visuals want to make sure they're selected but this data is the one we're interested in we need to make sure that's ticked for this particular application so then we just click on update so now we've got a bookmark which has got all of this I'm just going to select update again just in case it selects that so we've got a bookmark here which has got all of the filters removed from the the visualizations so now we're going to go and add one on so if I add production here and then if I click on here clear home filters it's going to remove it just need to make sure that this is um does say clear not clearing now if I go and select multiple filters say this one here this one here and then take our, our work type again we're only interested in BRs now we've got a few different filters here so rather than go and actually deselect these or use this clear button here for this one and deselect that we can just click on the clear home filters and everything's back to how it was when we first wanted it 
Now, if you did want some filter selected as your default, then you could obviously select a filter and just make sure that you go in here and update this bookmark with the filters that you want selected as your default selected. But for this example, I don't want any selected. I'm going to clear all the filters and that is going to be the bookmark we're going to use. So we can give it this bookmarks pane because we don't need it anymore. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go and add in a button. So I'm going to go and insert a button here. Insert. And we're going to use an image. And there's a, an icon that I have actually used for this. And I'll add this icon to the resources so that you can go and download this yourself. So we're just going to use this icon here, which looks like it's a clear filters um, button. And we're going to add it up to the top, the top corner there. Okay, next to this view all backlog button. And then we're going to go and assign an action to this. So we're going to open up the format fields here. And we're going to make sure this is selected and go and activate the action. And the action is going to be a bookmark. And the bookmark is going to be clear home filters. And then we're going to call this um, reset all filters to default values or defaults, default value, whatever you want in here. So that's going to be the message that, that appears when you hover in this tooltip. That's going to be the message that appears when you hover over it. So we can see here we've added in the, the various bits and pieces of information and it's all ready for us to look at there. So there is there, this one here. And we can see that we're ready to add in that tooltip. So I think that is it. Let's just try this and see. So we go to production. We'll select this one here. We're going to add in a, a work type. And let's see. Hold down control, click that. And everything has returned to its default value, which is great. It's exactly what we need. Okay, so a pretty short one today. Just allowing us to go and add in this really handy reset all filters button. And I think that just adds to the usability of your dashboard, makes it easy, particularly if you've got lots going on in your dashboard and you can have various interactions between the, 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 the different visualizations and some slicers and also some filters at the side that are adding additional filter options. It just makes it really handy just to reset all of these and let your user get back to its default position for the dashboard. Okay, so thanks for listening. If you found this useful, I'd really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe to the videos that I release every, more or less every week, then press the subscribe button and press the little bell to get the notifications. And I will talk to you in the next video.